and I grew up swimming the Tukitoki River. Uh, there are a whole number of swimming holes. Uh, you went to the beach one day, you went to the river the next day. There are a whole uh, families, a whole lot of families all along the river. Mm. Last year, two dogs died because they drank contaminated water out of the Tukitoki River. This is not who we are as a province, it's not who we are as a country. You know, what I'm curious to know about, and I'm at a bit of a loss, is what do we do about this? Well, um, there, there are solutions. Um, I start from the point that I think is the birthright of every Kiwi after they've worked in the week or going down to the river by their kids with their kids in the weekend. The river should be clean enough in summer, and I say in summer because that's when lo flows are lowest and temperatures are highest and therefore mm -hmm. water quality is most pressed. But it's summer's when people swim in their rivers, so in summer a river should be clean enough mm -hmm. to jump in and put your head under without getting croc. So how do you achieve that? Um, uh, there, is, there are some areas around the Tukituki -tuki and some of the other rivers up there that are still not fenced from intrusion mm. by cattle and livestock. It's the first thing you need to do. You need to make sure that those fences are set back from the river so that there's a bit of vegetation growing between the fence and the river, both to filter out sediments mm. and nutrients and also um, uh, use some of the nutrients to grow, if you like, rather than flowing into the river. But then the other thing you need is you need to have uh, nutrient limits for every catchment in New Zealand because we know that if you have too many livestock per hectare and too much fertiliser and too much livestock effluent close to a river, no matter what you do, mm. too much of that gets in the river. So there, there, at one level there has to be a limit on the intensity of farming practices close to rivers.